everybody so we are going to be talking about spheres today i want to remind you that a sphere is a solid in which each point is equidistant from a center point the great circle is going to slice the sphere into two hemispheres so this part right here that's going to be the great circle and then everything else is just the normal things so this line right here going all the way down and across is going to be your diameter. And then the center to the outside will be your radius. And that's, of course, we should label our center. So those are just parts. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. All right, so now let's talk about finding the volume of spheres. I'm going to do one, and then you're going to do one and check your answer with mine. So all it is is you just need your radius. And you can grab the radius from what you've been given. And for this case, our radius is 7. So we're going to go ahead and write our formula down first. 4 thirds pi r cubed, because remember, P A V. One, two, three. <coughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to drop it in. And I'm going to cheat a little bit, sorry. Oop. And put my seven in there. Now I want to try to get my exact answer first so that I have the most exact answer possible. So I'm going to cube seven. 7 cubed gets me 343, and I'm going to multiply it by that 4. And that's going to get me 1372 over 3 pi inches cubed. You can check if you can divide 1372 by 3, but just using our short little trick, 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 2, 9 plus 4, that's 13. 13 is not divisible by 3, so therefore... This is not going to be divisible by 3, and this is technically our most exact answer. Now, you would not leave your answer like that. I want you to round, so you're going to plug this into the calculator. Um, if you're using your TI-84, make sure to type it in as a fraction, and you can do alpha, y equals, enter, and that'll set it up as a fraction. Type it in exactly like that, and you should get approximately... 1436.76 <coughs> inches cubed. So I want you guys to go ahead and do number two. I will tell you that your approximate answer should be this huge number. Remember, I want you rounding to the nearest hundredth because that is more exact than rounding to the tenths. All right, so that's finding volume. Next, you're going to find surface area. And surface area is a whole lot easier to work with in terms of your numbers. It's just 4 pi r squared. It's the same thing. You only need your radius. <coughs> and so all we're going to do is type it in. 4 pi r squared. So I'm going to do 2.8 squared and then multiply that by 4. And that's going to give me my exact answer of 31, oops, 0.36 pi meters squared. Because remember, we're working with area. So PAV, 1, 2, 3. That's going to be my exact answer. My approximate is going to be 98 point fifty two meters squared. I want you guys to go ahead and find number four. You're going to get a nice pretty number integer to act as your coefficient and your exact answer and your approximate answer will be 1809.56 millimeters squared. All right <clears throat> let's split it up. Now we're going to do hemispheres. So hemispheres are just half of a sphere. So all we're doing is dividing by two. So four thirds, by the way, divided by two is the same as multiplying by one half, 
which is why we're able to make this into two thirds instead right here. That's just basic simplification of your fractions. So again, I'm going to do the volume for the first one and then you'll do the next one surface area, same thing. So all we're doing, plug it into our formula, write your formula down first. And it's still going to be to the third because it's volume, PAV, one, two, three. So we get two thirds times pi five cubed. And we're gonna do five cubed and then mul and multiply that by two and put it over three. And that's 250 pi over three. And your units are gonna be kilometers cubed. Now that's your exact answer. We're also going to need our approximate answer. And I'm gonna go ahead and round and I get 261.81 kilometers cubed. I want you to go ahead and find it. <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, for number six. And your approximate is going to be 1526.81 feet cubed. For the most part, I will only be asking you for an exact answer if you can write it as a nice number. For number six, that would be something I would ask you for as an exact answer on a quiz or a test. All right, for your surface area, same thing. Drop it on in. 3 pi r squared, so you've got 3 pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. Multiply that by 3, and you're going to get that 75 pi kilometers squared. It's going to be your exact answer. And then your approximate is going to be 235.62 kilometers squared. So I want you guys to go ahead and try number eight. You're going to get a nice, pretty exact number again for the same hemisphere. And your approximate is going to be 736.41 feet squared. Because remember, we're working with area in PAV, one, two, three. And now we're going to go to the back. And I know we're going through this a little bit faster, but you're, all you're doing is plugging things into your formula. And we're going to go ahead and apply it. <clears throat> so in this one, they haven't given us the radius, but what they have given us is the great circle. And they've given us the area of it. So I want to remind you that you find the area of a circle by pi r squared. And they've told us that it's 201.06 as the area is equal to pi r squared. So what we're going to do is we are going to divide it by pi. And if you want, let's see, if you divide by 3.14, it doesn't really give you a nice, pretty number. And that's because that is an approximation for pi. But when you divide it by pi, you get 63.99938, and it ends up rounding to 64.00. So we can just say 64 is equal to r squared. In order to find that radius, you're going to take the square root of both sides, and that means your radius is 8. And now you're going to go ahead and find the volume of the sphere that we were originally asked to find and plug in that 8. When you plug it all in, you get 2048 pi over 3 inches cubed, or cubic inches, as your exact answer. We're not gonna leave it like that, so we're gonna go ahead and type it in our calculator and approximate, and we'll get 2144.66 inches cubed. <clears throat> All right, number 10, we're gonna find the surface area of the composite figure. So right here, we've got two different shapes that we're looking at. We're looking at a cone and then we're looking at a hemisphere right here. It's almost like an upside down ice cream cone right here. And you'll notice for the cone, all we're really going to need is we're gonna need the lateral surface area of our cone. 
I want to remind you that the formula for that is pi r l, with r being the radius and l being your slant height. So we're going to go ahead and get <clears throat> pi times 4.5, since that 9 is our diameter, and times a slant height of 13. Our exact answer for that part is going to be 58.5 pi. You'll notice that we did not include the base here because it's already being covered. <coughs> it's not going to be included in that surface area. Now, in order for us to find the surface area of this hemisphere, we're going to use our formula. And that's going to be 3 pi r squared. And I know that technically includes this great circle here, but don't worry, we can just subtract it at the end. Some of you might already have the idea that, hey, why, don't, why am I multiplying it to begin with? I'll just take it out and make it 2 pi r squared, and you can do that. If that sounded like gibberish to you, then ignore. All right, so we're going to do 3 pi times 4.5 squared, and that gets us 60.75 pi. Now remember this part right here where that overlap is happening, we're going to have to subtract that great circle. And so that great circle is going to be pi r squared. So we're going to do pi times 4.5 squared, and that gets us 20.25 pi. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to add up the orange and the green. And then we're going to subtract that great circle, and that'll give us our exact surface area right there. So 58.5 plus 60.75 minus 20.25. And that gets us 99 pi meters squared. That's our exact answer. But now we have to find our approximate. And that's going to get you approximately 311.02 meters squared. <coughs> All right, so I am going to have you guys find the volume for number 11. I want to remind you that you won't have to worry about that great circle overlapping in this. And all it's asking you is the volume of this. So find the volume of this hemisphere and then find the volume of the cylinder. When you're done, you can check your answer with mine. And you should get close to this. All right. Thanks for watching.